This is the Bitax 1366 Bitcoin Solo Miner from BitcoinMerch.com. It features over 425 giga hashes at only about 11 watts. So this is the most efficient, smallest Bitcoin miner in the world. It features one S19 chip under that heatsink, gives you all that performance. Take the Bitcoin Merch power supply included, plug it in and plug it to a power source. Now it will try to connect to the default Wi-Fi. It will fail because it's not the same Wi-Fi user and password you have. Now it gives you instructions of what to do next. It shows here to go to the SSID BDAX. All right guys, now we plug in the power for the BDAX 1366. On my computer, I'm gonna find this Wi-Fi network, BDAX. It created a new one. I'm gonna connect it. And then right away, this new page is gonna show up for me. It works on the phone too, but sometimes it takes a little bit of time to show up on your phone. So if it doesn't work on your phone, use a computer. Right away, I see the Ax OS system opening up. This is a direct access to your Bitcoin miner, the BDAX1366. Here you can change the Wi-Fi SSID defaults. So the BDAX connect to your Wi-Fi and start mining. So I'm gonna change this to my Wi-Fi information. And also you're gonna change this one, the stratum URL, the port, and the user. I already have here my information. You can plug in yours. You can mine with pool mining or solo mining. You can use CK pool, you can use brains pool. I will leave a link below uh, to a few pools you can use and also a link to buy the VDAX if you're interested. So I'm gonna change all the settings and show you what happens next. Make sure you always connect to 2G Wi-Fi network because 5G is not supported yet. 2G will also give you a better range and the VDAX doesn't need a lot of Wi-Fi uh, bandwidth. So that 2G works perfectly. Make sure you type your SSID perfectly because if not, it will never connect to Wi-Fi. So, when you do this, be very careful to type the right information, the right spaces, the capital letters, including the password. Take your time. So I just change all the settings here and I hit save. Once you hit save, you have to click on restart. That will restart the miner and actually connect you back to the old Wi-Fi you used to connect to. And wait a few minutes, it will have an IP address and connect. Now let's go back to the miner and see how it looks like there. You can see that we have some hash rate going on. It will show a very high number at the beginning. You can see a lot of information like the fan speed. You can see how long it's been running and the efficiency. So that's great. Now that we are logged in to the Wi-Fi using the BDAX1366, we can wait and see what's the IP address of this miner. So then I can go into the computer and also do some overclocking, underclocking, and things like that. You can see my uh, IP address for this miner is 192.168.0.122. You will receive a different one. Each one has a different one. All right, so we waited and now we see the results. I am hashing over 450 giga hashes on my first try with the BDAX1366. Now some people got up to 600 with some special fans and some special clocking. This is the default settings. That's probably what you're gonna get, but some people are free to try to get even higher hash rates. I'm only consuming 13 watts, that's it. 13 watts, the whole thing consumes, which is nothing. It's basically like a light bulb. So this makes it the most efficient Bitcoin small miner in the world. The same efficiency, as the S19 XP. That's very impressive for a very low cost. Go to bitcoinmerch.com, we will ship it to you anywhere in the world. We also sell adapters, so if you live in a different country, you can use the adapter and you'll be able to mine Bitcoin at home. As you can see, it comes with everything you need and it's also very easy to set up with the Wi-Fi. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a link below what you think about the BDAX1366 and see you guys next time. Peace.